Well, I'm stuck in Jean, Nevada. Something terrible happened on Interstate 15, two miles north of Prim. I was just trying to get home to take care of my cat, Chupacabra. And uh, anyway, so what I thought I'd do is walk out here to the site of the old Nevada Landing Casino. Let me turn this around. You can see the road in front of me that used to, I think, be the driveway into it, or, or possibly this was just used for construction or deconstruction. But there are a few things out here to see. Uh, you can tell that the casino was nearby here because there's still some plumbing in the ground. There are fire hydrants over there. I'll go over and get a picture of that. I don't know. Bored. Just thought I'd take a minute to look at the site and see if see what if anything is left. Yes, it's a dead space. Quite a few of these fire hydrants. I think that's maybe the last remains. What's this? pipe. Sewer. More sewer. That one literally says sewer. So I know nothing about the footprint of the building. Nothing at all. So I'll just walk to the end of this disturbed earth, maybe roll around the perimeter of it a little bit. And see what we have. Oh, hey, look over here. No, that's just road barrier. I don't think there's a speck of cement or even asphalt left. Well, here we go. Here's a little line. So that was painted for parking at one point. A little bit of asphalt. probably related to one of these hydrants.
big depression out here. I can kind of imagine that this long depression here maybe was the building footprint because it would have a lot more uh, infrastructure running below it. I was never in the place. I don't know if they had it downstairs um, or an underground part. I really have no idea. Yeah, that's a lot of a lot of asphalt around here too. Actually, uh, looks like uh, cement. Concrete. More accurately concrete. Maybe parts of the building, I don't know. But that's what I'm walking through. Doesn't seem like asphalt here. Yeah, okay, here's a pattern. The tree stump. On this little berm. And going down here, I see more stumps. Possibly they were once irrigated decorative trees along this edge. Sure seems likely. Sure seems like a likely explanation. That was not a tree that was going to live out here on its own. Certainly there are signs that this was groomed as a green space on the edge of the Nevada Landing Hotel Casino. Torn down from what I understand in 2008, built I guess in 1989. There's a sprinkler head. Yeah, yeah. Irrigation came through here. So this was once the... Since it's decorative, I'm just gonna, again, have to totally guess that this was the outer that, that right there, Somewhere out there is the footprint of the two buildings. That those two buildings, because there were two, were surrounded by the fire hydrants that we see, uh, framed by them in some way. Kind of makes sense. Um, you know, this is a terrible place. Don't come here. There's really nothing here for you. All right, third clip for this video. I did find, uh, that looks like the back of a gambling chair, but couldn't say for sure. did find this pad out here. Don't know what the purpose of this pad was or why it was left here. Yeah, again, we're on the perimeter. Also, the depression couldn't have been, couldn't have, depression over there couldn't have been where it was actually seated. Uh, I think it was on the higher ground here between um, the fire hydrants, and that those fire hydrants once edged up in some way to the building um, or some such. That's all I can think of. Anyway, well, I'll go see if the disaster uh, is complete. Maybe the highway is going to open back up in a little bit, and I'll be on my way.
I have to say, it was nice to visit here accidentally. That, that much is true.